Hi, hello, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another video. This video is going to be a little bit different as you can probably already tell by the title. This company reached out to me to partner and I had a very exciting idea for how to kind of incorporate books into the partnership, which I'm kind of excited about. It was lots of fun um, and <laughs> we're gonna see how this goes. So the company that I am partnering with today is called Eovilla Crystals. I think I'm pronouncing it correctly. This is the name that is on the box. So they sell different crystals for different purposes, including a whole collection that is kind of like a zodiac, like constellation collection. So I actually got a few boxes that are kind of inspired by zodiac signs. So in this video, as you have probably already seen from the title, I wanted to kind of match up the crystal sets that I got to certain book recommendations. Um, just a little disclaimer, I guess, about myself when it comes to Zodiac, like star sign stuff. I know enough to know kind of, um, I guess who I am and what my star sign is, but I genuinely don't know that much about it. I'm not super into it. However, I do think that it's really, really fun, which is why I thought it would be fun to kind of do a bit of a crossover between Zodiac stuff and books. If I don't mention your Zodiac sign because there are actually only four of them that I used for this video, please let me know. I can always do a second one and do another deep dive and try and find more book recommendations based on Zodiac signs. So just let me know. But this is what we were starting with. They actually sent a little card in every single one of the boxes. So I do have a few other ones as well. Constellations, so you can see what it looks like. And then they also send all of the information about that zodiac sign, which is great. I knew most of this stuff about Aries anyways, because I am an Aries, but it was really helpful when I needed to find an example of a book that for example, Sagittarius liked, because I don't know much about Sagittarius. So luckily they have the little information card. So they've got the constellation and then an explanation of what that star sign is and kind of what some of their personality traits are. So I tried to use those. So I have four different boxes, which I will show you the crystals as well as the books that I think that star sign would like. If you think I got it completely wrong, please feel free to let me know. But I tried to pick some that I thought these four different star signs would like. So let's start with Aries. So this is the one that I got as kind of a birthday present to myself. I'll show you all of the different crystals that come in the box and what they're meant for. So they have a little explanation of what each stone is supposed to do for that particular star sign. So I thought that was really interesting as well. And they also give you an informational booklet. So Aries is known to be independent, courageous, impulsive, generous, and enthusiastic. Aries individuals are energetic and proactive, ruled by Mars. They are disposed to action and dynamic endeavors. So for myself, I guess this might be a little biased because I am an Aries, so I picked some of my favorite books. It just felt, I felt like I could do that, you know, because I, I am an Aries, so, so I get it. <laughs> so the two books that I picked that I think you should read if you are an Aries are... I just picked Queen of Shadows from the Throne of Glass series uh, because this was one of my favorite books and one of the books where I feel like the main character is pretty chaotic and kind of <laughs> exuding Aries energy. <laughs> but in general, for me at least, I enjoyed this whole series pretty much from start to finish. Uh, there was lots of action, lots of adventure. I feel like those are all things that Aries really enjoy. And the main character is extremely impulsive and passionate and also just reminds me of an Aries. So I would recommend the Throne of Glass series by Sarah J Moss if you're looking for something that is action-packed, full of adventure, very Aries energy. And then I also picked Legend Born, which I've already raved about it multiple times and how much I adore it. Again, we've got a main character that's maybe a tiny bit impulsive. Uh, she is energetic, kind of gets herself into situations that are really tough to deal with, but she always passionately kind of fights her way out of them and does the best she can. And the way that she kind of views her own trauma and her own grief that she's working through in this book, because that is a big plot line in the story, feels like a very Aries way that she does it. She has a lot of self-discovery um, that sometimes stems from sort of impulsive decisions. <laughs> and her journey was just absolutely incredible throughout the whole story. So these are my Aries books, I would say. The Throne of Glass series, as well as Legend Born by Tracy Dion. Okay, so now let's move on to Sagittarius, which I specifically picked this one because I don't know very much about it and I kind of wanted to learn about it. I feel like there's always a couple star signs that you hear lots of things about. Like, I feel like I always hear people talk about Geminis 
a lot and Scorpios and those signs, but I, I don't think I ever hear anyone talk about Sagittarius. So I wanted to do some research into this one and see if I could try my hand at kind of guessing what a Sagittarius would enjoy reading. So the characteristics are independent, optimistic, adventurous, generous, and philosophical. It says Sagittarius are the wisdom seekers and teachers of the Zodiac. They are joyful and highly inquisitive. So after doing a bit more research on personality traits of a Sagittarius. I also came across some websites and stuff that kind of said they are also quite charismatic and kind of entertaining to be around. <laughs> so because of all those things I could find, I actually picked Six of Crows by Lee Bardugo. I'm gonna be completely transparent. I haven't finished Six of Crows yet. I did start it. And then I was told that I should read the Shadow and Bone series first. And then I never got through Shadow and Bone because I kind of got bored. <laughs> So I never finished Six of Crows, but I've heard that the relationship of the characters in Six of Crows is very similar to how they were portrayed in the show. So in the Shadow and Bone uh, Netflix TV series, I heard that they actually did quite a good job of representing the relationship of those characters because the Shadow and Bone story and the Six of Crows story is kind of all mixed in when it comes to the Netflix show. They kind of like squished them together. So based on that and knowing what little information I do about the characters and their dynamics and kind of what they're all going through and what they're trying to learn and what they're trying to achieve, I thought this would be a really good picture for a Sagittarius. I also picked, this one's a little bit odd, and if anyone is a Sagittarius, you're gonna have to tell me if I got this right, because again, we were learning. But I picked The Priory of the Orange Tree by Samantha Shannon, and that is because, again, it seems that Sagittarius is kind of a knowledge seeker. They're interested in learning different things about different places and different cultures. So this choice was more so about the actual world of the book rather than relating specifically to any of the characters. So just based on what I learned about Sagittarius, I thought that the world building in this would be great for a Sagittarius because they would love learning about all of the different places. It takes place, I think there's like four different POVs in this one, and you get to learn about all of these different cultures and travel to these different parts of this fantasy world, and they're all so meticulously fleshed out that they all seem like genuine real places with their own cultures and their own etiquette and their own languages and different ways that they approach situations, and I thought that that seemed like something that a Sagittarius would really enjoy reading about and kind of learning and exploring about. I think I also read somewhere that Sagittarius likes traveling and this book made me think of traveling. <laughs> so then we've got Virgo and this one was really tough for me which is funny because I have one of my best friends is a Virgo and I had to ask her about it and I did get one of these recommendations from her so I haven't actually read it but I will tell you a little bit about it. So Virgo is described as being analytical, intelligent, helpful, practical, and a perfectionist. So it says Virgos who are ruled by Mercury are analytical, organized, smart, and pay attention to the small details. So the first recommendation that I have for Virgos is actually Gideon the Ninth. This book is a super fun read with really complex characters that have a super fun dynamic. It's very entertaining. Also, the main part of the book is them basically trying to solve a puzzle or a mystery, something that's going on. It is full of super powerful, badass female main characters that are all so individual and intellectual, and they're all really, really well done. And they all grow so much throughout the story. So I feel like between the storyline and trying to kind of figure out what's going on as well as following the change of the dynamics between the characters would be really satisfying for a Virgo from what I've learned. So that's why I suggested that one. And then the second recommendation is from my friend. So thank you so much for giving me that recommendation. And it is called The Wisteria Society of Lady Scoundrels. So from this friend, she told me Virgos probably would like slow burn, like nothing should happen too quickly, really strong powerful leads with lots of tension and kind of like intricate characters so that is why this suggestion is coming from her because she said that it lines up with that kind of Virgo energy. So the fourth one is a Pisces. So Pisces is described as compassionate, devoted, imaginative, intuitive, and creative. It says Pisces are selfless and noted for their empathy. They are intuitive, artistic, gentle souls who are always willing to help others. So I don't actually have this book recommendation with me physically, but I did read it a long time ago, which I'm sure most of you have, but if you're a Pisces and you haven't, you probably should pick it up now. Um, and that's the Percy Jackson series. <laughs> I just feel like that kind of describes him to a T. He's pretty gentle and intuitive and creative. 
I feel maybe the whole Pisces being fish thing is maybe tying into the story as well because there are a lot of kind of water themes in that story as you know if you've read it. But I think that he really really fits what Pisces is supposed to be. So I thought that would be a good, fun, kind of middle grade suggestion in case anyone's interested in that. Also, can I just say it was kind of hard for me to find main characters that kind of had that gentle intuitiveness about them because lately I've been reading stories that just have badass, impulsive main characters, not people who are gentle and intuitive. So we're doing a throwback for that one. And then another one that I don't physically have with me is The Red Scrolls of Magic by Cassandra Clare. So she is is the author that wrote the Mortal Instruments series with our favorite couple Magnus and Alec and this series is actually what follows them. So I see one of the main characters Alec as having kind of Pisces tendencies. He's always trying to help people, always trying to do the right thing. Um, he is, even though he's been through a lot, I would consider him to be fairly gentle. He's not super loud and aggressive like a lot of the other characters in the series are. So he kind of gives me Pisces energy and this particular story because it follows them. I think that would be a really good read for a Pisces reader because they could kind of relate to him and also really feel for things that he does in the book. So that is my second suggestion for Pisces. So those are all of my book recommendations based on these wonderful constellation crystals that I got. If any of you are any of these star signs, you'll have to let me know how correct I was. I did try to do my research and really try and pick books that I thought made sense for the star sign, but it was an interesting way to kind of look at themes of books and overall, I guess, vibes of books as well to try and match them up with certain types of personalities. So that was a really fun thing to do regardless. I imagine some of them, I'm sure there will be some of you that are like a Sagittarius and be like, absolutely not. So you'll have to let me know how close I got with those. So again, thank you so much to Ao Villa for sponsoring the video and for partnering up with me. Um, I had a lot of fun. I'm also so excited about my new crystals. I am someone who loves my pretty rocks and I'm also very happy to have my Aries crystal set as well as one or two of them, which I am going to gift to other people who are those star signs because I feel like that makes the most sense. So again, they're a great gift for people's birthdays because they do, you know, it's like getting someone their birthstone, but in this case it's a set of crystals, which it's like six stones. I will leave all of the crystal information down below so that you can check out that website and maybe get your own crystals or get someone else crystals. It was something a little bit different. We tried something new, so I hope that you enjoyed that and had a good time kind of maybe hearing a little bit about the different zodiacs and seeing some book recommendations based on those. So thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to smile and I will see you in the next video. Bye. We'll always